around two and a half billion people use social media. The interactive nature of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube allows users to say whatever they want to whomever they want under a cloak of anonymity. But some people have been accused of taking this freedom of expression too far. Known as internet trolls, they scour the web looking for victims to offend and abuse. They normally throw out a bait and someone who responds to that bait is considered fair game. With some targeted trolling amassing a large online following. Just how influential have trolls become? Status updates, news feeds, comment chains and political advocacy. Within the past decade, our online social network has become an influential part of staying relevant in the modern world. But this digital communication has a dark side, a staggering growth in online antisocial behaviour. That cloak of anonymity allows someone, through the lack of fear of judgement, to um, express parts of the personality that they might typically not do in company. Nobody is off limits. Actors, musicians, politicians, all victims of online hate campaigns, pranks, memes, harassment, even violent threats. Some trolling is organised and done on a mass scale to influence and distort. And people spreading hate online are now using the internet to organise hatred on the streets. But is posting an opinion online simply freedom of expression? The recent increase in the prosecution of trolls has raised questions about how far online commitment to freedom of expression goes. Silicon Valley has improved its tools for detecting hate almost immediately after it's been posted. Social media companies have long been accused of being too slow to respond. Finding a way to monitor our online social interactions may be necessary, but it could be tough finding a perfect balance between the right to privacy and protecting us from trolls.